Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my coffee corner. Today I am going to share with you how to make Spanish latte. This is a requested video tutorial and Spanish latte seems to be getting popular in coffee shops all over. What they need is condensed milk. That is the difference between a regular latte and a Spanish latte. So the use of condensed milk. So usually in my recipes for my coffee and tea recipes, I use a combination of condensed and evaporated milk. But for this time, we are going to take out the evaporated milk. For the Spanish latte, I'm going to show you two different ways. One is hot Spanish latte because this day it is the rainy season. And also I'm going to show you a version which is iced Spanish latte. So we need condensed milk. I have it in my squeeze bottle. We need coffee beans, freshly ground coffee beans is perfect. And we need milk so you can use any milk of your choice so only these three ingredients and we can make our delicious spanish latte i am going to start with hot spanish latte the first step to making the hot spanish latte grind the coffee beans use single spout single basket portafilter i'm going to pull one shot or 30 milliliters of espresso Whilst my espresso is being pulled, I'm going to steam my milk. For the steamed milk, use a steaming jug, which is about 350 milliliters. Chilled steaming jug is better for this purpose. Fill it to just below the spout. Steam the milk. I have this beautiful one shot of espresso. I'm going to add one teaspoon of sweetened condensed milk and mix it with my espresso. Now for basic barista out there, if you don't know how to make latte art, do not despair. Latte art takes practice. For this one, I'm going to show you how to make it nice and simple. So we're just going to pour the milk into our cup and we're going to make the latte art after using a latte art pen. Now we have our hot Spanish latte. Let us make our iced Spanish latte. For this, I am going to make measurements for 16 ounces cup, glass, and then I'm going to pull my two shots of espresso. So this time I'm going to use my double spout, double spout, double basket filter, and we are going to pull 60 milliliter or two ounces of espresso. Okay, I have now my two shots of espresso, 60 ml of espresso, smelling really, really good, I can tell you. And this time I am going to add one ounce or 30 ml of condensed milk into my espresso. And for the milk, because this is iced coffee, I cannot use my espresso machine to steam my milk. So I'm going to use an electric milk frother here and I'm going to use cold milk. For exact measurements, I would use three ounces or 90 milliliter of fresh milk. That's 60 and one more. That's 90 milliliters, not a lot of milk because I'd like to keep the balance between the milk and the espresso. I'm just going to mix the condensed milk with my espresso. Fill your glass with ice. I'm going to pour my mixture of espresso and condensed milk into my glass. And fill it to the top with ice. And then I'm going to pour my foamed milk over. Wow. 
Well, there you go. My versions of Spanish latte, ice and hot Spanish latte. Very simple, it's just a matter of adding condensed milk. I'm going to try my hot Spanish latte. Mm. It just makes it a lot richer, very, very smooth. Now, of course, it depends on the taste of your espresso. Mm. That is smashing, very rich, very creamy. For my iced Spanish latte, the trick here is giving the right balance of the espresso and the milk. Do not overpower the drink with milk. Make it the perfect balance. So I normally put two shots of espresso and one half cup of milk. But because the milk I have to spit into fresh milk or unsweetened milk and also the sweetened condensed milk. So it is one ounce of condensed milk to three ounces of milk so that makes it a total of half a cup or four ounces of milk and the verdict is just my regular chow latte <laughs> mm. that is smashing too absolutely delicious well, there you go. For those that have been asking me to show you my version of Spanish latte, this is how I do it. Very simple and not too different from the way I make my drinks, except we take out the evaporated milk. If you have any questions, do let me know. Do give this recipe a try. And yes, Spanish latte seems to be getting more popular these days in coffee shops. Up next, Mexican latte. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below and I'll see you again for more of these video tutorials. In the meantime, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.